Hello viewers, welcome to this video, right? Um, in the last video, part one of this video, we set up the LXD cluster and now we are going to play with uh, the cluster by creating virtual machines, sorry, by creating system containers and dealing with the networks and so on. So the, it, it's the, the environment that I've got is same as the one that I left uh, in the last video, LXD cluster list. Okay, so we've got three node cluster, all of them are up and running. So now, Let's let's start a machine. Let's start a system container. So LXC image list. So we don't have any uh, images. Okay. So LXC in it Ubuntu eighteen o four, and let's give this a name. My Ubuntu one, for example. Okay. So when you do LXC in it, it's going to create a container in this cluster of three nodes. But we are not sure but we won't be knowing where exactly uh, this container is going to get created you know we are running this command lxc init command from ubuntu vm01 node one of the node in the cluster but uh, you won't know actually where this container will get created it might get created in node 2 vm02 or it might get created in vm03 okay let's create that and it's retrieving the root file system at the moment and then we can start the container all right, container created. Now let's start the container. LXC start my Ubuntu one. Okay, now if I do LXC list. Okay, so uh, it has actually created the container on the same machine, Ubuntu VM01. I think it goes in a round robin fashion or something. But uh, the way it chooses the node to launch the container is uh, it picks up the node which has the least number of instances, uh, uh, least number of containers running. Um, so uh, or you can specify which node you want your container to get launched. For example, LXC init Ubuntu. Okay, so before that, let me show you. So you can run this command from any of the nodes. I can do LXC image list. So we've got the image that we pulled for this container. Okay, so that's from Ubuntu VM01. And if you go to Ubuntu VM02 and do LXC list, you will see the same output. So we've got that container running and it's running in Ubuntu VM01. Alexi image list, we get the same output. Okay, so now Alexi list, Alexi image list. So uh, it doesn't matter which machine you are connecting to, you will get the same output. Okay, so I'm, I'm in Ubuntu VM03, that's fine. So let's launch another container. Alexi init Ubuntu 18.04, and let's give this a name my Ubuntu uh two this time and if you want to target a specific uh node so now if you run this as it is it might create the container either in ubuntu vm02 or ubuntu vm03 because it picks up the machine with the least number of containers running as of now ubuntu vm01 is already running a container so i guess it won't pick that uh node but if you want to force uh, a particular node then you can do with minus minus target option minus minus target uh, let, let's say uh, Ubuntu 3 and let's do the target as Ubuntu VM03 okay so now it's creating my Ubuntu 3 container and it should create this container in Ubuntu VM03 because we are forcing it using this parameter here okay all right container created Alexi start my Ubuntu 3 that's started now if i do lxc list okay cool so you can see here since we forced it to ubuntu vmo3 it's running on ubuntu vmo3 otherwise it would have picked ubuntu vmo2 possibly okay so now let's do another try so i'm going to launch one more container lxc init ubuntu 1804 and call it my ubuntu 2 this time so I'm not specifying any target at the moment. I'm not specifying any node. So given the current situation, we've got one container in VM01, one container in VM03. So this time the cluster should be clever enough to pick up Ubuntu VM02. Okay, let's see where it creates. Okay, so I'm not sure why we are getting that error. Alexi in it, Ubuntu 18.04, my Ubuntu 2. Okay, that's done. I'm not sure why uh, we had this error here. Anyways, LXE 
start my Ubuntu 2 let's start that and uh, if I do LXC list now cool as I uh, suspected my Ubuntu 2 container has been started in Ubuntu VM02 that's cool so now we've got one node in each container so I'm gonna start one more container uh, let's call it Alexi in it Ubuntu 18.04 and let's call it my Ubuntu 4 this time and press it. I'm not specifying any target. Let's see where it actually picks up. I, I, it doesn't really matter because each of these nodes are running one container each so it might pick anything in the random. If it goes in a round robin fashion it would pick uh, Ubuntu VM01. Okay, let's let's see where it actually picks. Okay, I'm not sure about that error either. So let's do that again. All right, that seems to be a problem. I've tried a few different times, but still uh, I'm getting the same type of error. Okay, so but anyways, let, let's leave that. So we've got LXE list. So basically we've got uh, three containers. Okay, so running on three different machines. So one thing uh, we could check is, um, for example, I'm on Ubuntu VM03 node. And let's see if I can, if I'll be able to log into my Ubuntu one container, which is actually running on machine, uh, the first node, Ubuntu VM01. So if I do LXC exec my Ubuntu one, sorry, LXC exec my Ubuntu one bash. Yes, so I'm able to log in and LXC list. So I'm on Ubuntu 03, Ubuntu VM03 machine node 3, but I'm able to log into a container that's running on a different node. So that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so let's do one more testing. I'm on VM01 and let's do um, LXC exec my Ubuntu 2 bash. So from Ubuntu 01, I'm logging into a container that's running on Ubuntu VM02. So you can do uh, these type of logins, so that's fine. So now, uh, since I'm in Ubuntu, my Ubuntu 2, which is a container running in node 2, let's see if we will be able to ping uh, a node, a container in a different node. For example, this machine, my Ubuntu 1 container running on Ubuntu VM01. Let's see if we are able to ping it. We won't be able to ping, so there's one other thing that we need to do. As you can see here, there's no ping response. Uh, at the moment, we are not able to talk, uh, we're not able to make uh, the containers talk to each other. The containers that are running on different nodes uh, are not able to talk to each other. But if you were to start another container, but if you were to start another container in the same node, then you should be able to uh, make them talk to each other. Let's do that one. LXC list. Let's try and create another uh, container. Let's see if it fails this time. Alexi init Ubuntu colon eighteen o four. Let's call it my Ubuntu four, and then let's force this to Ubuntu VM o one. All right, so I had this problem again, but I don't know when I force it uh, on a different node, Ubuntu. I think it was trying to pick uh, Ubuntu VM01. Uh, there might be some problem with uh, this node, Ubuntu VM01, which I need to investigate. But when I force the container creation uh, to be on Ubuntu VM03, it just worked. So LXE start my Ubuntu 4. So I'm starting this container on um, Ubuntu VM03 if I do LXC list now. Okay, LXC list, let's wait for the IP address. Yes, we do have the IP address now. So these two uh, containers are now running in Ubuntu VM03 node. So if I do LXC exec, I'm on Ubuntu VM01. But as I showed you, uh, we should be able to log into containers running on other nodes as well. So if I log into my Ubuntu 4 bash, okay, so now I'm inside this container here. So since these two containers are running in the same machine, we should be able to, uh, uh, we should be able to talk to each other, okay? So if I do ping, so I'm Ubuntu 4, so I can talk to this IP address. Yes, I can. Uh, right, so will I be able to talk using the name? Ping my Ubuntu 3. 
yes I do because it's LXT and the LXT containers can talk to one another using names so that's a uh, default DNS domain of dot LXT LXT domain so you should be able to uh, talk to the other containers using the name as well okay so what we've done so far is we've launched so many containers and we've made sure that the containers that are launched within the same node can talk to each other but not on uh, uh, the other nodes okay let's try and fix that LXC list so that must be some problem with the networking uh, let, let's try and figure that out LXC network list so we have this LXT fan network which is the uh, the overlay network so there must be some problem with the overlay network let's take a look at that um, network LXC network show LXT fan zero okay so this network is used by the four containers because that's the only network we have so all the containers uses that network and the bridge mode is fan and if you look in here fan dot underlay network is 10.0.2.0 slash 24 so that seems to be the problem so I'm on uh, Ubuntu VMO 1 machine so all these machines VMO 2 VMO 3 has been provisioned using Vagrant so if you look at the IP address so it has got different IP addresses what uh, we will be using is this one here so this is the actual IP routable IP address 172.42.42 slash 24 network so basically LXC network show LXT fan zero we just need to change the underlay network subnet Okay, let's change that LXE network edit LXT fan zero. So basically you need to change the underlay network from whatever it is to 172.42.42.0 slash 24. Save that. Okay, so LXE network show LXT fan zero. So we've changed the underlay subnet from this one to 172.42.42.0 slash 24 so that's the underlying network uh, through which the uh, the communication happens between the containers on different nodes so since we fixed that let's try this now LXC exec my ubuntu 4 sorry my ubuntu 4 bash okay so we are in there now and if we try to ping the machine in the same network it works but if we try to ping a container in a different network ping it still doesn't ping which means LXC list so basically we just need to recreate the containers let's do that LXC delete uh, minus F my Ubuntu 2 for example let's delete that container and then let's also delete LXC delete minus F my Ubuntu 3 okay I'm, I'm just deleting these two containers Ubuntu 2 and Ubuntu 3 and I'm gonna recreate them LXC init Ubuntu 18.04 my Ubuntu 2 force that to be launched in Ubuntu VM02 all right, so that's got that container created. So now let's do uh, another container, my Ubuntu 3, and launch it in Ubuntu VM03. All right, so that's done. Let's start these two machines. Alexi start my Ubuntu 2 and my Ubuntu 3. Alexi list. Okay, so my Ubuntu 2 in Ubuntu VMO 2 and my Ubuntu 3 in Ubuntu VMO 3 LXC list Okay, cool LXC list. So we've got these two uh, Containers uh, Recreated so let's log into one of them LXC exec my Ubuntu 2 bash and now if I try to ping this container on a different node Yes we are able to ping so similarly if I launch LXC exec my Ubuntu 3 
and ping the IP address of this container running on a different node, we should be able to ping. That's cool. So will we be able to ping using the name Ubuntu 3? Nope, that doesn't work. I don't know why dot LXT. Why Ubuntu 2 dot LXT? Anyways, so we fixed the networking. So at least we can ping uh, the containers uh, through IP address that are running on different nodes. Okay, so that's cool. So one other thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring one of the node in this cluster down and see what actually happens. So if I do LXC cluster list, VMO1, VMO2, VMO3, and LXC list. So we have three containers running on Ubuntu VMO3. Let's try and uh, shut down Ubuntu VMO3. So going to Ubuntu VMO3 and I'm doing sudo power off. Okay, so that machine is down at the moment. And if I do LXC cluster list, LXC cluster list, it still says it's online and fully operational. Uh, it means, I think the heartbeat uh, is checked once in every 20 seconds. So let's wait, LXC cluster list. Okay, cool. So now it says it's offline, no heartbeat since 25 seconds or so. So the heartbeat actually uh, it's check, is checked every 20 seconds. Okay, so what's the output of LXC list? So what happened to the containers that were running on the, on, on that uh, node, Ubuntu VMO3? LXC list, so now it's trying to contact Ubuntu VMO3 and it will eventually time out. Uh, so I think that's the reason it's taking so long. Okay, so now you can see here my Ubuntu 3. So we got those two containers in the error state. Okay, so now let's go back to, uh, let's start Ubuntu VMO3 again. Vagrant up Ubuntu VMO3. Okay, so the virtual machine should be up now. Vagrant up Ubuntu VMO3. Oh, sorry. Vagrant is yes, such Ubuntu VMO3, not Vagrant up. Okay, so let's go back to Ubuntu VMO1. Let's do LXC cluster list first. And Ubuntu VMO3 is back online and fully operational. And if I do LXC list, there we go. So my Ubuntu3, my Ubuntu4, those two containers that were in the error state has been started and it's running already. So that's uh, LXD clustering, I think. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Okay, so please give this a try and let me know if you've got any questions. I still need to figure out why I had that error when I was uh, trying to launch the container in Ubuntu VM01. I'm sure the problem is with Ubuntu VM01, definitely, because when I forced the container to be launched on a different node, uh, I didn't have that problem. So leave that with me. I will do some investigation and if I get uh, any, if I, if I get anywhere with that, I will uh, post another video. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.